Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I would like to talk about how to fix error when Epic Games launches set of Wizard entered prematurely, which is happening for many of this is this error. So how we can fix this? So what you need to do is just follow the instruction. So uh, the first one is all about what we need to do is when you're having this particular trouble. The first one, what we need to do is when you're having this trouble, just follow these instructions that we just need to go over here in the Microsoft Store, search for the Microsoft Store. And from here, we need to install the Epic Games Store. So just go over here, search for Epic Games Store over here at the top. Now search for the Epic Games Store, select this one and we need to install the Epic Games Store from the Microsoft Store. In my case, it is already installed, so that is why I'm getting the option to install. So the users who have the Epic Games will be having an option to install it, so we'll just install it. After the installation is done, just close this and we have to do a few more changes. That is all about, we have to delete all the traces of Epic Games from local C. So just go over here in the file explorer, now scroll down and navigate to this PC, Go over here at the local SC. Now from here, go to the program file. First one, just go to this one. And over here, you can see if you find the Epic Games, you have to delete this. So before that, just cross check whether if you are having any game. If any games are there, you just need to take the backup. So just go over here, let me delete this. Just go over here and delete the Epic Games. Now we just need to go back, go to the program file x86. Just do the same, go over here in the Epic Games. Cross check whether you're going through any kind of games. If you're having any kind of games, just delete the game that is very important so if you don't have any game that is fine but if you're having any kind of game you need to take a complete backup just go over here and you need to delete the epic games so it is going to take a little bit of time so once the epic game is successfully deleted from your cup uh, from your uh, main from your system what you need to do is you just need to go over here and you have to check whether you are having the uh you know uh the folder for the epic games that means you should be having dot exe so afterwards just go over here once epic game is successfully deleted just go over here and just go to the task manager go to this one go to the task manager and right now there is an option to go for a new task click on the create new task just click on the create new task instead of giving this particular command you need to type msi exe c dot exe type this click on create this task with administrative rule just go for ok now they're gonna ask you go for ok and what you need to do is before that just make sure that you have to delete the epic games so uh, what i need to do is once the epic game is deleted once the epic games is fully deleted just go over here in the create new task and make sure if the epic games is left running over here we'll be having trouble with deleting it so what you need to do is just once again go back and over here if we just go back to this pc go to local disk c go to the program file x86 stay if you find the folder just delete the folder that we need to delete the epic games it is very important so once epic game is successfully deleted only we can proceed this so you might be having the error with this sometimes it might be getting stuck so what you need to do is if that is the case after this is successfully deleted just go back over here not over here just go back and make sure the epic game is deleted once again so i'm getting the error because i don't know why this is most probably should not be getting this so right now as you can see the epic game is successfully removed just cross checking both the cases and you can see in both the cases epic game is remote and right now afterwards just go back to the task manager right click and go to go back to the task manager over here and right now what we need to do is just go over here to click on the run new task and type msi exec.exe click on this one go for browse so you need to add the epic games over here so to do this just go over here first uh we need to uh download it from the uh microsoft store let me do like this we need to download it from the store so you should be having the epic games either over there so let me search for the epic games store over here okay so right now as you can see most probably the Epic Games is installed. So what I need to do is just go back once again. So I need to search for Epic Games. Download for Windows. You need to download this one. So right now, as you can see, you should be downloading the Epic Games. So that is what you need to do. Install on Windows. Select this one and it could be downloaded. So we just need to wait this to get downloaded. 
So in each base, once Epic Gaming successfully uninstalled from your com uh, computer, you just need to download it and you need to install or add the installer. So uh, I don't have the installer over here in my downloads. As you can see, right now the installer is not there. So I need to get the installer. So, th so that is why I'm recommending or I'm downloading the Epic Games once again. So once it is successfully downloaded, we need to add the installer. So it is done. So what we need to do is just go back, go back to this, click on the browse and now navigate to downloads. Okay. Right now you can see this is the Epic Games installer over here. So select this, not this one. If you scroll down, you can see they will be okay. Now instead of programs, change this to all files. So when you change this to all files, we'll be able to see the Epic Games launcher we will be able to see the Epic Games launcher. So here the Epic Games launcher is there. If you set this to programs, you will not be able to see this. So if you scroll down, it is not visible. So change this to all file and select this one. And now go for open and you have to go for OK. So right now, as you can see, when you click on OK, as you can see, the Epic Games launcher is getting installed. So just go for the install and you have to wait. So after the successfully installation is done, that is how you can fix the error of the Epic Games launcher setup wizard ended prematurely, it should be completely fixed. And after this is completely successful, you will be able to use the Epic Games. And this is what you have to do. And just wait for this to get complete. So guys, there is nothing much. This is going to take a lot of time. So the Epic game is successfully installed. So that is how you can fix this. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click for the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Bye.